Hi, this is Nagar Prasad. My registered number is VR1560S220. Today, I am going to tell about my system software and compiler lab experiment that is simulation of deterministic finite automata using Java language. So, to simulate the concept of deterministic finite automata is my aim and the description. What is meant by DFA? So, in theory of computation, a branch of theoretical computer science, deterministic finite automata DFA is also known as deterministic finite state machine. So, it is an is a finite state machine that accepts and rejects finite strings of symbols only produces a unique computation of the automation for each string each input string so uh, dfa is an uh, any uh, any automata should accept the strings that have to be accepted and should reject the strings that have to be rejected and so the what is meant with dfa and what how it is different from nfa so dfa is like uh, if um, from each state for each uh, input there should be only one transition that is called as a dfa and when it considered to nfa there should be n number of uh, transition for a single input from a single state so dfa is like from single state single input single transition so this is like uh, 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 for single input it should be have a single transition or else for the two inputs also it should have a single transition uh, single transition only but a single transition for single input is must and this is a description about dfa and here we are going to simulate it in java programming so dfa simulator is my class name and after that uh, here i have taken ivo so input ivo functions will be imported and uh, i have created some uh, public in all, all the thing, uh, declaration part is done here and so here when public build DFA function starts, it throws an exception if there is any error in that. And buffer reader br equal to new buffer reader and new input stream reader, whatever this is, I have um, mentioned there. And uh, it should take the input from the user. So please enter the alphabets in the alpha set of a DFA. For how many numbers I have that should be entered here, and how many states I have that should be entered here, and alphabet number will be taken as using alpha set and uh, states number will be taken as using state set and after that please enter all the alphabets of a dfa simulators simultaneously so here i'm gonna you know give the input that matches to the number i have given over there so if there is i have given number two that means here i have to mention two uh, alphabets like a b and Whatever the value will be given here, one, one only works that value will be taken by using this. And if there is any extra line or if there is any extra characters I need to take, that will have to be uh, done using this for loop. And that for loop, uh, whatever the alphabets, alphabet dot length, uh, I uh, first character will be taken as first string and second character will be taken as second input. Uh, that means second alphabet and third character will be taken as third. Uh, third input uh, or symbol and after that states have to be uh, have to be done and and from here states the state chart will start uh, execution and so here I have to give the row entry so by using for that uh, s is equal to zero and s is then state set so first of all uh, how how what are the row entries in the transition table so row entries are nothing but you can see that here so we as yes, we see here uh, from a uh, state a if i give a small letter a that should lead me to the state b and if i give any b that leads me to the same state a so this is how a transition table uh, should be like and i am giving the transition table data here and whatever whatever the data i am giving here that will be taken by using the transition table for in number of times that means how much uh, state uh, how many states i have given those many times it will take the value for both inputs uh, for all the inputs that i am giving in an alphabet set and after that uh, printing has to be done or else uh, state checking has to be done so for that thing uh, it will ask you to enter the final state if i give the final states how many final that may be a number of final states uh, so that uh, final state values will be given so if there is only one final state i'll give one final state and after that i'll give minus two minus two indicates the input of final states is over and whatever the uh, functions are whatever the inputs i have given those states will be taken as a final state and after that you know starting state it will ask you to enter the starting state once if you give the starting state 
uh, it will ask you to enter the input that has to be end with a hash uh, symbol so input will be given at the last will give this uh, symbol and that symbol indicates the end of the input and no need to check after that and uh, value will be checked over and if if string matches that will be printed as the string is accepted if not the string is rejected i have mentioned an exception over there try con function over there so whatever the exception comes that exception should be thrown by using this exception uh, command here so let's run this code so here is that input uh, Uh, a, B. So the uh, giving me input simultaneously. First character will be taken. A is taken as the first input and B is taken as second input. And transition table I need to draw. So when I give, uh, when I am in first state and when I give A, it will lead me to the two. And if I give B, it will lead me to one. And if I give A, similarly for all the things I am giving. And I should enter the final state. So I'm entering the final state as four. And after that, if I give want to give any another uh, final state, I should give it or else minus two to terminate the uh, taking of inputs for the final state. So I have terminated that. And starting state is gone. And it, will, it is asking me to give the input. I'm um, giving a a b b. That has to be accepted by you by that. Um, so that means what is that? transition table so a, a b b i have given and so final state after giving the input is 4 and your input string is accepted by the dfa so as we can see here uh, that is my transition table and after this transition table if i give input a a b b output should be yes as we can see here the output is uh, yes as string is accepted so this is how we can simulate a dfa in java programming